Okay, Leo, did y'all hear me say that? Because if so, I'm going to have to cut that off. You can't curse within the first seven seconds. And I said, what the boop? And then it, it started recording. Hopefully, y'all didn't hear me. I'm going to listen back. And I don't ever listen back to my readings, really. Like, rarely. I rarely listen to it. But now I got to go back and listen because I'm not starting over. So I'm about to do an angel message for Leo. I'm Ethereal. My name is Charm. And today, okay, this message is for whoever it makes sense for. If it's for you, you will know. If it's not for you, you will know. Keep in mind, if you see something, hear something, I don't say go with their own intuition before mine. So you could be traveling or planning to travel if this is for you. Or you recently got on the same page as somebody, like you recently cleared the air with somebody. Um, I don't want that. Like, I want to get five cards back to back. But I feel like that's somebody carrying energy. Either wanting to clear the air with somebody or somebody's wanting to clear the air with you. Or that's what recently happened. Or you're focused on traveling. Um. Okay, you're the emperor. The ultimate authority rests with you. The Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords reverse. Why the fuck I started here? Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is going to be all right. Like, okay. I guess that's a song <laughs> for y'all. <laughs> the Will of Fortune is here. So it shows the table starting to your favorite, even if you don't see it yet. With the Emperor here, you could be an entrepreneur. Um, if you're not an entrepreneur, I just feel like you're bossy. Because I started hearing Khalees bossy. That could resonate with you or not. Khalees really give Leo energy. I'm about to see if she's a Leo. Where's my other phone? Hold on. I don't care if you leave. If you leave, it's not for you. I'm about to go grab my phone real quick. search but i don't want y'all to see what i was searching for on google is oh nothing um is that a leo august 21st or do that is that the end of leo because i know that's close to the end I'm not going to lie, if it is Leo, see, I'm not even surprised, bro, because <clears throat> when Kanye West was like, got a light-skinned friend look like Michael Jackson, got a dark-skinned friend look like Michael Jackson, I said he's a Gemini, and then I typed it in, and he's a Gemini, like, I don't know, but let's focus, the Emperor, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like your main focus is creating more stability in your life and being a, a, a good example, like a good example, a good mother or a good father. Um, or you're naturally a leader. People naturally um, come to you for advice or for comfort or follow you. Why you need this message is the Eight of Cups. It's somebody or something you need to walk away from for good. And I kind of figured that because the three of swords is your angel message. But why is the uh, eight of cups here? Death. So it's a situation that's over. Okay, it could be a family member or somebody who you actually love. Who you have to walk away from. Could be a Scorpio, um, Pisces, or another Leo. It's also Aries and Capricorn energy here. I see the Emperor is Aries and Capricorn. It's just give Capricorn. But anyway. Um, so you have to end something in order to ensure like success, happiness, victory. Why is this? What do they have to walk away from? The sun, the two of swords. So you already know that this person is indecisive. So if it's romantic, this person shows you or told you that 
they want to keep you in limbo. Like, they want you to want to get chose. Like, they want to be Flavor Flav and Ray J. Every time they come up in a reading, Flavor Flav, Ray J, um, the other people, um, New York. <laughs> they want to be one of them people who, like, on in fake life, like, on reality TV, there are a bunch of people trying to get that cup of love. But that be for clout. That be for money and shit. That don't even be real. This person is delusionally feeling like you should be like vying for them, <laughs> vying for their love, affection, um, or trying to get chose, basically. So whoever that person is, is telling you to walk away from them to ensure success. The Six of Pentacles is here. It's talking about matching somebody's energy, basically. If they're giving you breadcrumbs, why the fuck would you make them a full course? warm fresh meal like if they're giving you breadcrumbs okay throw them back or leave them there why is the six of pentacles here somebody makes it seem like they're doing you a favor for giving you less than what you give them the full the four of cups so it's saying um basically not to be a fool even though I don't really see the fool as like literal fool energy, but with this other card coming out with you, with the four of cups, it's saying don't overextend yourself to somebody who keeps maybe not directly rejecting you, but their actions. Like actions speak louder than words. I feel like this person may not have said like I don't want you or I'm never going to choose you or some shit, but they said or did things that basically say that over and over again I also feel like it's saying don't miss opportunities or waste your time waste your years because the fuck it looked like you have a new you have some type of new newness available to you or that's going to be available to you when you say no or ignore this whoever this person is who really want to keep you stuck with their energy being the two of swords or they really have kept you stuck, stuck, even if they're not a conscious person. Or they're not consciously doing it because they're not conscious. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what else to tell y'all about that shit? But coming to words, you the not as words of rest. If the advice is taken, I feel like it won't be stressful. It, it, like, you'll have less stress in your life. You'll have less to worry about. You'll sleep better and shit. Um, you'll have more peace, more harmony in your life without this person. Um... Why is the nine of swords reversed? What the fuck? God damn. Can we have a smooth reading? Nine of swords reversed in the tower. Okay, why I feel like that's this person rushing in or trying to cause problems in your life? Oh, because you ended it. Oh, so this is a crazy one. This one's crazy. Whoever this person is, they don't want to choose you. But if you walk away from them, then they want to cause towers in your life. Or maybe they could be some type of abusive. Honestly, the tower came out with the end is here. So they don't want, they want to play hokey pokey in your life. They want to put their right foot in, right foot out, right foot in and shake the shit about and do the hokey pokey. But when, if you were to like pull your energy back or match their energy, then they want to cause towers <laughs> i don't like that shit the two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles okay after you're in this situation this bitch is going to try to start drama directly or indirectly with the tower there or endings in your life but with the world there i feel like it's still going to be something that's done and then the two of pentacles is talking about you um having more fun i feel like you're gonna have more fun in your life you're going to be in a lap of luxury and you're going to go from being in a nine of pentacles, which is happily single to being in a ten of pentacles, which is coming together with either a soul tribe of people who love and support you and y'all have a, a unbreakable bond and you're making a lot of money and or you're going into a, another commitment, which will be with somebody who is not going to make you do a bunch of tricks to get picked and then still not pick you like basically it's somebody who already 
you don't have to convince them to stay 10 toes down with you. Whoever this person is coming towards you with the 10 of pentacles, if the advice is taken, okay? Here, angel message is repeating the advice and what you need to know part, which is three words. Um, don't be afraid to cut off things and people that bring you pain. Bought you pain. Trauma. Open up to the nine of wands. Um, I open up to the king of cups. So it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or really any sign. But I'm still going to say the signs here. Um, Aquarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aries, Leo. Scorpio again. Leo again. Capricorn again. Aries again. Um, Libra. At the bottom is Libra again. Goddamn. It could be any fucking body. It could be anyone. If it's for you, you already know based on like the energy. Ooh. So you have a Scorpio who is spiritually dead, case closed. Mm, it was in reverse though. So I think um, there's a Scorpio who wanted you to believe that they were the best you can do. <laughs> like it's over for you after them or some shit. And then my alarm started going on. So I might actually be jerk. I mean, even though I know this is true for somebody, but I guess that's extra confirmation for whoever the fuck. And there's a Scorpio who wanted you to, wanted to convince you that there's no life after them or no love after them or they was the best you could do. Oh, somebody's currently using it for money. Okay. I don't want to pull any more. <laughs> I don't want to. Spiritually envy. Spiritual envy. So, whoever this person is who wants to keep you around but don't actually want to pick a side like or be loyal... I feel like they're spiritually envious of you. So it's something you're, you have a spiritual gift. You have a talent. Whether it's um, Reiki, doing nails, writing, speaking, whatever. You know what your spiritual gift is. And whoever is telling you to walk away from and cut ties with, they are spiritually envious of you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thanks for watching, Leo. Bye.